Hi, hi. It's Denise. Welcome to my home. I got back from Habitat about an hour ago, but I needed to get stuff out of the car. And there were a few things that could have gotten me out of the car. They're big. But I did it. I did it. There wasn't as much in the area that I was hoping for, but I did find some really neat stuff. First of all, welcome. Welcome to my home. It's lunchtime. If you need to get a snack or a break or um, take a nap first, you can always turn it on later. I love you guys. You know, I think about your comments all day, and it's just so cool. Uh, we are well over 700 now. God is amazing, isn't he? Just amazing. And he's bringing those people that need to hear what he wants them to hear. And I know that that has little to do with the things that I bring you. But it has everything to do with relationship. I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited to be able to share my life with you guys. And you know, as time goes by, I want to know more about you too. Um, I was thinking about it and I was thinking about a couple of things I need to tell you. First of all, let me tell you about this so I won't forget. If you get to a point where you're going to make an order, when you get to the order page, type in the, um, when you're ready to go to the cart, in the search bar, type in my affiliate code, AFX. 04708. Um, it's in my description box. Apparently, they're not seeing that any purchases are being made from uh, views. And I kind of think that's wrong. Uh, if you guys are like me, you're probably buying Demu stuff. Um, so please use that affiliate code when you order. I really appreciate it. It'll make a difference on the long run. Um, also, oh, I forgot what I was going to say first. I don't know why I do this. I have so much stuff in my brain that I want to bring out to you and then it hides behind the, the door. And I think I set myself up because I say, don't forget, don't forget. And sure as shoot, and I do. Well, I suppose it will come up again and I will remember then. Oh, well, part of it, I wanted to see, did you read my community page today? What I said about uh, Fred Rogers yesterday, I kind of um, bought into an urban legend. I didn't know what all that ur urban legend was, but I had heard that he was a, a war hero. He was not, he didn't serve in the military. Doesn't diminish anything that he has done. 30 years he ministered to children and did such an awesome job. Um, and when you hear that a person like that is also a war hero, it kind of tickles your ears a bit. And I didn't look into it before I talked to you. And I'm sorry, I won't do that again. I don't want to pass along information that's wrong, ever. But certainly be, not because I wasn't, I didn't do my due diligence. And I've lived long enough to know that things sometimes aren't the way they appear. Um... If you're new to our channel, welcome. You are so welcome here. We do lots of different stuff here. Um, we do hauls. We do demonstrations. We do reviews. We do fashion shows. Um, we do hauls from different places. And we just generally have fun. I enjoy you guys so much. 
Oh, 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 I remembered, I remembered. Okay, what I was thinking of is maybe we could compile uh, something where everybody contributes. If you have a kitchen hack that you've learned along the way and would like to share it, share it with me. I'll compile these things. I don't have to include your name unless you, you know, tell me if you don't want me to include your name. Um, but I'll compile it and everyone can use them. We'll do this with other things as well. You know, if you have crafting ideas, if you have uh, things that you've come across in your lifetime that are just really cool. Stories. But for now, let's just do the kitchen hacks since we just did this. Um, I know that there are tricks of the trade that I don't know. Absolutely. And I'm sure that there are tricks of the trade that you know that someone else doesn't know. I would love to see that. I would love to see that happen. And if we can get 30 different ideas or 50 or 100 or whatever, you know, we can put it all together and make something really, really useful for all of us to see. And we can get a taste of who each one of us are. I know that you're learning a lot about me. And I have this desire to know about you. Um, I really honestly feel a friendship with you. And it's not all about me. It's all about God, actually. But as, you know, we're communicating and, and fellowshipping as human beings, it's about all of us and what we bring to the table. And there are a few of you that I've gotten to know better, and I know more about you, but very few. So if you're okay with doing this, I would so love it if you would. Um, in a comment, write down what you've learned in the kitchen. A kitchen hack that maybe your grandma taught you, your mom taught you, you learned from the lady across the street, whatever. And I'll take the time to compile them and put, a, put it out there for you. Uh, I'm excited about that. And the time you know, is for what we're going to get from it. The time is negligible. I'm, I'm so willing to do this. Okay. If you like the content, I want to say this. I'm going to say it a couple of times in the video because I want to invite you to subscribe. I want, I want you to be part of our family. I want you to be part of what's going on here. We have just such a wonderful group. It's loving and kind and um, you'll find support. You'll find, you know, I, I want you guys to interact with each other. This is what, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm thinking of different ways that we can come together like this. Uh, this may not be what YouTube's about, but it's what I'm about. And I really would like to be able to do this with you. So I went to Habitat today. I think I've already said this. It is senior day and there is 10% off. Um, where's my wallet? I spent, I think $35, $32. Let me see here. I meant to have this out. And of course I didn't. Is this from today? Yes. $32.26. That's a lot of money. And I get that. And there are times when I don't have $32 to go to Habitat. There are times when I don't have $10 to go to Habitat. Right now I do. So I'm very, very grateful. 
very grateful. I found some things that I think that I can use really well. Um, ugh. I might as well show this to you since it's right here right now. I don't know if you can even see it. It's really heavy. I can't lift it very well, so. I'm going to take you down. If I lose you, I'll get you back. You see this? This is a mirror. Isn't that pretty? It has the filigree on it. It's very, very heavy. And it's probably two feet by, I don't think it's square. Maybe it's two and a half feet by two feet. It's not a huge mirror, but it sure is pretty. I got it for $10 and with the senior discount, it was $8. And it probably weighs 50 pounds. No kidding. Oh, let's see if I can get you up here without messing up the video. I did it. Cool. Okay, so that's that. Payne is always looking for another mirror. We have one on the bathroom door, but she likes to live in there. And we only have one bathroom. And I kind of need it sometimes. So I'm planning to put this on the wall by her door so that she can use that for her makeup and stuff. And actually, I'm going to use this somewhere else and then take a mirror that I've already got in here uh, that's a little bit lighter. And it's not as wide, but it's longer. So, and then put this mirror there. Uh... Okay. I found... Let's not, please. Oh my goodness, you guys. You don't really see anything. I know you don't. There's nothing out there. I don't believe you. They're done for now. I got this bag of stampers. I have a whole bunch of stamps, stampers, and I need to get ink. I love stamping. <laughs> Gotta love them. I got this bag of stampers, this bag, and I paid 50 cents for it. Now, anyone that's done any stamping, you know how much they are. And most of these haven't even been used. Can you see that picture? That's going to be so fun to stamp it and then to color it. And somehow I can put it in relief and put it behind a frame like a shadow box. It'll be beautiful. The flowers that are in there, there's irises, um, lilies of the valley, roses, phlox. It looks like there are some sunflowers in there or daisies. Now it's going to sound like I know a whole lot about what I'm saying, but I don't. I just happen to know these flowers. I have such respect for people that know more about plants than I do. And it doesn't take much to know more about plants than I do. I love plants. I love the green. I love the, the, the colors. You know, when you see a beautiful garden, it's kind of like stepping into heaven. And yet, even to think about heaven the colors and the 
the flowers and, and everything, we can't even begin to imagine the colors. These are, you know, closed-ended, and God is not closed-ended. God is not red and white and green. It's, cat, please don't play with that. My dog already chewed the end off of this. I don't use it, though, so it's not a big deal. But the cat wants to play with it now. Um, but he's not defined by anything. And heaven is... I remember when I moved to Oregon, and there are so many different colors of green in Oregon. I miss that. And I never stopped ooing and aahing. And can you imagine, even a little bit, imagine what heaven's going to be like? Colors that you've never seen before. Intensity that you've never seen before. Seeing Jesus face to face. I just can't even begin to go there. Not yet. I will, but not yet. Anyway, this this was one. This is one too. It's an angel. It's really very pretty. Lots of detail. This is another stamp that can be embellished and put in relief on a frame. It would be beautiful. I'm looking so forward to doing these things. Now this one has all kinds of writing on it. Of course it's backwards and it's small so I can't tell what it is when I can read it. I don't know. Can you see it? If you can, let me know what it says. There's this one. There's this one. And there's this one. I suppose I should have gotten my mirror. Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. Here's my mirror. Maybe I can see it here. It's only got a few cracks in it. I just can't see it. What's this one? That looks bigger. I might be wrong. It may not be writing at all, but it sure looks like it is. It's just backwards. And it would need to be so that it would be frontwards when you stamp it. That's one thing that I need to get from Timu is ink for stamp pads. I've got all these stampers and no ink. I've got a little bit, but not much. Um, where's my bag now? Here it is. This one's been used, and I don't know that I'll ever, I will ever use this, but my daughter might. I can invite you all to a party. It's for an invitation. It says, you're invited, place, date, time, phone, RSVP. And then it has flowers. It's really pretty. If I invited you, would you come? Can you imagine that? Having our group have a family reunion. See how many of us could show up. And just see us. Oh, we're going to do that in heaven though, right? Yeah. Then there was one other thing in there, and this is brand new. It's never been opened. I already have letters. They're not script like this, I don't think. But this one has um, little stampers in the inside. It might even still be usable. It's just a, a really unique alphabet form. 
tomorrow night I'm going to have the kids over and uh, Katie's going to come bring her kids and I'll have all the Valentine stuff out for them to do um, their Valentine bags or boxes for school. Maddie is in fifth grade and they're not doing boxes. They'll exchange valentines, but they're they're going to decorate bags at school. And I thought, you know, what can I give her to make her feel a part of? She can still decorate a box for her room. It'll be fun, though. I've got to go through. I have about a bazillion stampers. Uh, I've got all those stickers that I got from Dollar Tree, and I've got other stuff, too. Um, and I have wrapping paper that they can wrap the whole box in. So we will have a crafting night tomorrow night. It'll be fun. I paid 50 cents for all of these. This basket isn't particularly unique. It's a storage basket. But I paid a dollar for it. And these guys are really expensive at the store. It has the, the metal frame, so it has metal handles. Let's see if it says, it still has a tag on it. They're seagrass, and it was a set of four of them. It doesn't have a price. I've Baskets are expensive. Even at Timu, baskets are very expensive. I like to get them at um, rummage sales and stuff like that. There's something really, really unique about baskets. I think I talked to you about that the last time. I can see people sitting there weaving these things. I would love to learn to make a basket. So a dollar. I didn't find much jewelry this time. And there's some somewhere else that I picked up. I didn't just get three things. I thought this was so uniquely different. I know someone made it. And the way they made it, uh, the beads are all expensive beads. I've done a lot of pricing of beads lately. These are wooden beads. And this is some kind of a stone. I don't know, but there are one, two, three, four of them. And then as it drops down, it fastens in the front with two latches and has a sunflower. Isn't that pretty? Now, I don't know if I would wear this. I'm learning, though, by looking at jewelry how to make it. And that's really neat. Uh, and certainly if I take this apart, It'll help me to learn what I'm doing. And this sunflower kind of matches the sunflower on these. I'm going to say it's a sunflower. But it'd be really pretty, wouldn't it? And I found these earrings. These are uh, clip-on earrings. There's some people that don't have pierced ears. They're very plain. And they're little pearls. They're not real. But I thought, you know, the way that they're made, I can make uh, hanging downs on here. And they'd be really lovely.
and they're just the regular clip-on earrings in the back. Yeah, it's just clip-ons. And the last time I was at Habitat, I got some clip-ons too. It'll be nice to have a few clip-ons for a choice for people. Because if you have pierced ears, you have a choice of whether or not you want to wear clip-ons or pierce. But if you don't have pierced, you don't have that choice. I found this. And I think it has some potential. It's not worth anything. It's pot metal and stuff. But I kind of like the form of it. It'll be fun to fool with. And it has the loop at the top. It was definitely a, a brooch of some kind or a, a necklace. So that's pretty much the, the jewelry that I found. Uh, okay. Now... Look what I found. Doesn't that just scream my name? It's an Old Navy shirt. And it's a large, but the way it's made, it's not going to matter so much. Look at those sleeves. Aren't they pretty? And I think I can pull off the mustard, don't you? Has elastic in the sleeves. These are really well made. And guess where it was made? China. Oh, I lied. It was made in India. I'm so sorry. I thought it said China. Still, though, it wasn't made here. I have a dog here or a cat here on my face. How did I look at that and see China? I guess the A at the end and the size of the word. I am going Friday to get my eyes checked. Habitat was like five blocks away. It's not far. And you know, this is cotton. I'm certain of it. Well, I better look though because I was thinking it was made in China too. See you on the flip side. I'm sure there's some place in here that tells the fiber content. Yeah, here it is. Hunter, I hear chewing. It wasn't Hunter. I closed Peyton's door and I, uh, it wasn't Hunter. Um, it was because of Hunter, but it wasn't Hunter. Um, I think I told you that he got a hold of one of Peyton's slippers that I got her for Christmas and he chewed it. So I had her door closed and there was a kitty in there and she was furiously digging at the door. So I helped her to escape and she's fine now. She was only in there for like a half an hour. I think I closed that door again just before I turned on this video. Anyhow, this is my shirt. I'm excited to wear it. 
I'll probably wear it with white pants because it's got a lot of color on its own. Now, ugh, this is a huge find. I'm going to show you the basket. This basket I paid a dollar for. This huge basket. Now, what's in it is pretty amazing. I bought all of this fabric for $7 on it was only $6.30 because of senior day. This is like a velour or a, oh goodness. It's not as heavy as a velour. It's soft. There's three yards of it, brand new. This is velvet. You can see that. There's two yards of this. This feels like almost like a, a polyester. I don't think it is. It's a synthetic. It's a heavier synthetic though. Although it feels like polyester, you know, like a heavy polyester. There's two yards of this. This is a beautiful purple velvet. There's two yards of this. This is a cotton broadcloth, two and a half yards. And this could be a cotton poly blend, I don't know. But it's really pretty. There's three yards of this. It's very light, so three yards doesn't take much, you know, it, it measures out. Now this is a heavier, kind of like the purple one that I showed you before. I wonder if they'd match. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm not finding it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just bounced you. This fabric and the flowers in this fabric, they're the same exact color. Well, parts of the flower, not the whole thing, but parts of it are. There's four yards of this. Just a beautiful fabric. These are beautiful fabrics. And uh, get all this stuff back in the basket. We'll have cat hair on it forever. There we go. And three pieces of felt. Guess how much I paid for it. Did I tell you? I did, didn't I? Can you believe that? Or no, did I tell you about the... No. Yes. $6.30 for all that fabric. And there, there are things that I like. Uh, I know Peyton would just absolutely love to have a cape. And that black velvet, I can make her such a cool cape with that. Felt's always a fun thing to play with. I might even use it tomorrow for the kids. They cut hearts out. We're not done yet. And remember, $32. I got a brand new pair of underwear. Da, 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 da. They're cute. They have flowers on them. 
and the brand is called Breezy's. I've never heard of them before, but they look super comfortable. They've got a wide waistband on them. They're stretchy. I'm, I suppose if I like them, I could look them up on the internet, huh? See if I could get more. And I found another, now this slip has never even been washed. It's a Vanity Fair, it's a size large. It'll work out just fine. All I have is a very rather short black slip and now I have a midi black slip that I can wear with long dresses. You can't, you know, I love wearing dresses in the winter time is kind of cold and a slip just makes such a difference. And I think I remember telling you all the adult clothes are a dollar a piece. So that top was a dollar. This was a dollar. The underwear was a dollar. Not done yet. I got this little doll. I'm going to make something for the girls room. I think I'm going to make a wreath for each one of the girls. And this will be one of the dolls. I have another one, too. Uh, she's not quite the same. But this one's really cute. You know, somebody put some time into this. It's an old-fashioned clothespin that she's made out of. You can see that. And pipe cleaners for her arms and legs. And her head is the top of the clothespin. Perfect, huh? We used to make, when I was a kid, clothespin soldiers and clothespin people out of these types of clothespins. The red ones are the wooden ones that don't clip. They're just stationary. They look like this. They don't have the, the um, ring at the bottom. But they just clip onto the um, clothesline. And they're perfect. You can drill through them and put pipe cleaners in there for arms. And they make really cute little dolls. Don't you think? She was 50 cents. Can I help you with something? Huh? Yeah, I thought so. My little dog with springs in his legs. Yeah. I got this packet of cards. See? And each one is different. I thought maybe they were all the same. But how fun to be able to pass these out or give them to people that you love. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Jesus Christ, by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8.1 8.1 831. Now, th thanks be unto God. I'm having trouble reading because he's bouncing me. Which always. <sighs> what? <laughs> you are so naughty. I wish you could see his face. He has such intense eyes. And it's like, don't look at anything else but me, Mom.
Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the Savior, the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Second Corinthians 2.14. I think that this is a a lost cause here. I think that maybe what I can do, can I take pic I can take pictures of these and I can post them in the community page every day. Wouldn't that be cool? That's what I'm gonna do. So you don't need to see them all right now. Thank you. I wouldn't have known that, Hunter. You gave me that idea. Thank you, God. I love that idea. I do. If I can get it back in the bag, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that while he's not content. Okay, puppy. Now. Now. Is there anything else up here? Nope. Ouch, ouch. Now the pictures. Guys, you better knock it off. I bought these mainly for the frames. I may keep the pictures and do something to them in the frame. This is probably sellable. I got this for 50 cents. I love this frame. It's really different. I got it for a dollar. They had it marked a dollar fifty, but they gave it to me for a dollar. Isn't that cool? And this is all wood. It's, you know, it's not pretend. It's nice wood. Do you remember when uh, last Wednesday when I got the two tri trivets or um, what are they called? Coasters. And they're, they're tile and they each have, one says faith and one says hope, I believe. Look at this. Wouldn't that be fun to, of course, I'd paint the frame. And I'd have to figure out how to mount the glass on the outside. But that's easy peasy. Or I could put, you know, embellish it and then put the tiles on here on the outside of the glass. Going to have fun with that one. I don't know why I like pictures so much. I like to look around and see stuff around me. I'm certainly not a minimalist. And I don't have a real defined style. I think that I'm eclectic. I'm a little bit country. And just if it's, it serves my fancy, you know? Now these could be anywhere, but they're strawberries. They're berries and they're wood frames. They're beautiful. See the pictures? The frames will change color and it's a set. They're not the same, but they're all berries. I think these are just beautiful. I suppose the color of the frame isn't bad. What I'll do is um, like do an antiquing or a brushing. I'm not sure what color yet. Probably 
in the purple family because all of the berries are in the purples. Oh goodness. Mailman should know better, don't you think? He's gone now. And there's a Timu package outside and an orange wrapper. I haven't gotten one of them in months and months and months. Not a Timu package, but one in orange. Okay. This picture I paid a dollar for. It says a dollar fifty, but they only charged me a dollar. And I've had pictures like this before. As a matter of fact, I have one in my house now. And it's on my heart. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I love this. It's little birdhouses and all the colors. Needless to say, my booth, once I get it up and running, will have an awful lot to do with the Lord. Well, it'll have everything to do with the Lord. Everything won't have... How do I say this? My booth is, is the Lord's doing. And I'm speaking about it as it is. It is. It is. Don't you love the colors? can go anywhere, can it? I just love those. Now, these are flimsy little things. But they're display... Um, and they've been kind of beat up. I'm going to have to fix them. They're display cards for, like, bracelets. And you put them on the table and put the bracelets in there so they can be seen. I got two of these. And I don't know that I would have gotten them had I seen how beat up they were. But I think I can fix them. I think that one was more beat up than this one is. Yeah, this one looks better. Derrico. That's a brand that I, I saw on other crafting items. I need to look them up. I'm curious as to how much something like this would cost from the vendor. Derrico is the maker. Now, the last two pictures. The last two pictures that I have are a set. They're really quite pretty. I would call these bathroom pictures. They're not, but that's what I'd call them. They're from Kohl's originally. Huh. The price isn't on them. Um, but one of them is an iris and the other one orchid maybe I'm not sure how I'm going to work this yet I do like them and the frames are a really nice size so I don't know if I'm going to keep them the pictures and it's double matted they're really pretty I may just keep them as they are I may do something with the frames, you know, to, they're kind of cheesy with the color of the frame. And maybe not. I don't know. I've got to think about it. 
when you look at the frame, it has grays in it, and it's um, silver and grays, and that's kind of what the the um, matte is too. I don't dislike them at all. I think they're really pretty. I paid three dollars for the two of them. For these, I paid a dollar a piece. No, I paid 50 cents a piece, so a dollar for the both of them. They were all just so reasonable. No. This is the last thing. Ooh. I don't know what to tell you about this. I'm not sure about it. It's a beautiful bowl. Somewhere on the bowl, it says 1956. That's what the tag said. There's a lot of wear. You know, it's been around for a minute. You can tell by the bottom of it. It's a 14-inch bowl. It's so pretty. It looks like something my grandma would have had. I just don't know. I don't know. I looked it up on eBay or on uh, Google and there wasn't anything quite like it. So I'm just going to have to keep looking. Bowls like this that are that old and in perfect condition. This one is in very good condition. There's no pits or cracks or anything in it, I would expect to pay about $40 for it. There's a few pits in the uh, firing, but that's pretty normal. So, I'm glad that I got to show you this haul. I know that the dogs were a pain, but that's what dogs do. You know, I hate to say goodbye. <laughs> if you like this content, I hope you do. And I would invite you to subscribe. I'd invite you to like this video. And I would invite you to comment. Please let me know that you're here. I answer all my comments. I love you all so much, and as we grow, it'll be more and more time consuming to answer, but you know what? That is my goal, is to answer every comment. I want you to know that I care about each one of you individually, not just as a group, individually. I love you dearly, and until next time, bye-bye.